Hi there, in this video I want to talk about how many amp hour of battery you need to treat your hives. What you need to understand is that a lot of times people ask me with a good battery how many hives I can treat. And that is a misleading question because it's not about how good is the battery but it's about what is the capacity of the battery. The battery always has the voltage as well as it has the amp hour rating on it. It means that it tells you that one, if you uh, load the, uh, the battery with one amp, how many hours it will last. So it's pretty much the capacity of the battery. So, how many you can vaporize with what amp hour of battery? I'll tell you how to calculate it. First, you need to heat up the device. It needs to get to the 450 Fahrenheit or the 230 degrees Celsius degrees to get it to the working temperature. And that takes up energy. So that will take up one amp hour roughly from your capacity. And whatever remains, you can calculate it. Let's say this is a four amp hour battery. So you will have three amp hour after it's on 230 degrees or 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then that three amp hour will be enough to treat in cold windy weather eight hives per amp hour. Uh, so three times eight is 24 hives you will be able to treat with 2 grams. If you treat with 4 grams, it will be only half, of mu half as much, only 12 hives you will be able to treat. If you put on an 8 amp power battery, then you can calculate with 7 amp power what you can use for vaporizing. 7 amp power times 8 is 56. So you will be able to treat 56 hives with 2 grams. But if you set this to 4 grams, you will be able to treat half as much. What about warmer temperature? When it's not 10 degrees ambient windy, but it's warmer, you know, 25 degrees, 30 degrees ambient, then you will be able to treat more, up to 10 hives per amp hour with 2 grams. And this helps a lot with that. So if you happen to buy this silicon insulation cover, you slide it on, it helps keeping hot the top. Actually it doesn't help clipping hot because it will be hot always but the battery will need to work less to keep it under temperature so you will save battery life and then you can expect 10 times 2 gram doses per amp hour otherwise you can expect around 8 times uh, 2 gram doses. So this helps a lot as well as keeping clean your device. I hope it helps you to calculate your own uh, 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 case, you know, how many amp hour of battery you need. And they also want to talk about something else. When you set it up to 230 degrees and then you drop in the 2 grams, you put it on, you press it, it will go down the temperature to about 210 to 215 degrees, whatever that is in Fahrenheit, you have to calculate. And it will start going back the temperature. And when it goes back, already at 225, you will have finished the vaporization. But if you wait till it goes back to 230 degrees all the time, that means that this device will just sit there, lose some heat, and that will lose some capacity. So it's better to always go on, go on, go on, and treat the next hive, and don't wait till it goes back to the original temperature. Why is it? Well. The temperature is not like switches on when it goes down and just on, on, on and switches off at 230 degrees, whatever is said there, but it already starts switching on, off, on, off as it is approaching, so it is not overshooting the set temperature. Otherwise, it would go up roughly about 10 degrees, always higher than whatever you set. So I like better that whatever you set, that's the maximum temperature, it will not overheat there. But that means that it will start cooling down the heating elements, so it is not overshooting the set temperature. So it means that if you always wait till it goes back to the set temperature, that will be there quite a lot of degrees, where you are just sitting and the device is heating up, but it's really ready to go to the next height. And you can save a lot of capacity with that. And the other thing is that if you don't set it to 2 grams, but let's say 4 grams, it means that it will drop back more, it will go down to about 200 degrees, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. And it will go down to 200 degrees, but by the time it goes back to 215, 
it already finished uh, 4 grams and you wait till it finishes the next 15 degrees for nothing because it is already ready to go to the next hive. So what I recommend is that if you put in more than 2 grams, you increase the temperature from 230 up to 240 degrees. So you will work at a higher temperature range, up to 230, but it will be ready to go to the next hive. It has no effect on the oxalic acid. And the other positive thing is that because you are working at a higher temperature range, it will be faster, because there is a huge difference in speed as you go down with the temperature, it just slows down. That's the nature of the oxalic acid. So, if you treat more than 2 grams, you should increase the temperature. And what you can do, everybody can try it. You just put in the oxalic acid and you vaporize into the air and you just look at the temperature. And as the temperature is increasing, you look at the nozzle and when the oxalic acid is like almost stops coming out or just like a cigarette, uh, you know, very slightly uh, smoking, then you look at the temperature and you remember that temperature. And that will be always a temperature when you are ready to pull out and go to the next hive. And that way you can work out what is the, you know, if it's 3 grams, it may be, uh, you know, uh, 224 degrees when you pull out. When it's uh, 4 grams, it's uh, 217 degrees and whatever that is in Fahrenheit. But you can always work out the best way, so you are not, it doesn't, it's not in the hive idle, doesn't working. But you can go to the next hive. You don't need to wait till it goes back to the original temperature. It's ready to go to the next hive once it finished the vaporization. Thank you. I hope it helped.